welcome back to my channel. So, um, I've been pretty sick these past few days and I haven't really filmed anything, but I'm finally here and I'm finally filming, so I'm back. Um, today I am going to the makeup blowout sale. So I know a lot of people have done vlogs like this on YouTube and they've gone and whatnot. So basically what it is, it's a sale that travels to different cities. Today it happens to be in my city and um, they have a lot of makeup from different brands. I think the most popular brand they have is like Beauty Creations. So um, I'm gonna go to that. From what I hear, they have like where you can swatch and they have testers. So I'll make sure everything's good quality before I buy anything, of course. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go to that. I'll show you guys what it's like. I'll do a little haul afterwards. Um, that's about it. I did some green eyeshadow today very different but for some reason yesterday like I just got this idea that I wanted to do green eyeshadow so that's what happened today um but anyway yeah we're gonna head to the sale I'll show you what I got afterwards I know there's a few things I need like concealer and stuff that I'm running out of so hopefully I can find those items or like uh, something I like and yeah I'll keep you updated okay so I'm back home now obviously as you can tell um I bought some stuff lots of stuff in here so I'm gonna show you guys what I got um, I didn't really film much there because it was very crowded it was even kind of difficult to shop in some moments so that was the only like difficult thing I did take one picture because like kind of outside where all the makeup was they had like a little backdrop where you could take pictures nobody was really there so I took a picture there I'll insert it and um yeah i'll probably pull some pictures off like their facebook page or something for, but like specifically from my city so you can kind of get an idea of how the setup was and i'll do that right now and yeah let me just show you guys everything that i got so i got first of all two palettes both by the brand she i swatched these they swatched pretty nicely these were only and i don't have prices for everything because i didn't memorize how much everything was but i wanted or no i know for sure these were only eight dollars so the first one is and they're both just called deluxe edition shadow palette i don't see any like specific names on here um but i got this one which is a lot of like neutral to pinky purple shades so we got some pinks purples browns um taupes all that kind of good stuff golds um and the, it looks a little different on camera I, there that's a better lighting um so i got this one i like this one for like every day and maybe some like smokier kind of bronzy fall um looks i also got this other one and um, I was a little disappointed because, and I cleaned it up already, but this shade over here came kind of broken. You can sort of see it, um, but I like this palette. I actually really like this one. It's a lot of blues and greens and yellows. Um, really pretty for some fun pop of color looks. I'm obviously wearing a lot of green today, so I'm very excited to get into this one. Um, we've got some like mattes. We've got a lot of shimmers, so this is going to be a fun one for some colorful looks, some blue, green, yellow looks. Very excited for that. Um, even though, you know, it's like Christmas coming up, um, it's never like too, like it's never a bad season for some color, you know? Um, and green also, like the dark green is good for Christmas. And then also in the like eyeshadow range, I got one glitter. And this is like a very silver glitter. I'm not going to open it up right now. This is by... Mika Beauty Cosmetics. I have heard of this brand before. I've heard good things about their glitter. Obviously you need a glitter glue. I already have a glitter glue so I didn't purchase one. I love this silver and speaking of like holiday season coming up, I specifically bought silver because I have a ton of gold eyeshadow but some years when I for Christmas I wear silver and then I'm like I don't have glitter and I you know me I need my glitter. This is from Cara Beauty and um, I think I've also heard of this brand before. This is the shade Thirst. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And let me open this up. It is a liquid um, eyeshadow. I swatched this one and this one was gorgeous. 
it's this gold just beautiful shade this reminds me very much even the packaging of the Stila glitters I have some of those so I'll definitely be comparing them and seeing um, you know which one I like best but the swatch beautifully over there um, and I do love like good gold glitter so I'm excited to use that um, let me I guess move on and show you more eyes um, eye stuff I bought a whole bunch of eyeliners um, I'm kind of crazy for eyeliners specifically I love a pop of color on the lower lash line but um, yeah I really love eyeliners so I'll show you everything that I got from the brand LA girl which I have heard of this one before I got this green neon liner they have a ton of neon ones um, these liners were a little more expensive than the other ones that I got so I only got one um, but they did have really fun neon colors that I wouldn't mind getting more neon liners in the future. Then all of these, actually, is this one also? Yeah, these are actually all from the same brand. So they're also from She, which is the brand of the palettes. These were, I believe, $2 each. So I got this blue in the color sapphire, and you can see the shade right there. It's like a very almost shimmery kind of navy blue. I got this white, and it's just called white, I think, um, which I love to open up the eyes. It looks really pretty. Um, I got this green in the shade green tea. It's kind of a shimmery green, very much like a green tea matcha color. These two are actually the same. Uh, I didn't realize till afterwards, but it's okay because they're both brown and really they look a little different. This one looks a little lighter than the other one, the smaller one, but this is called dark chocolate and this one is called brown. This one is longer and it does have one of those caps that also works as a sharpener. So I got um, this one because you know brown is a very um, staple eyeliner color um, I like using brown a lot especially if I'm wearing like a gold or any kind of color like that um, and then I also got kind of going with that I got um, a sharpener this one is purple and it's like a little safety one too so if you just have it in your makeup bag you don't have to worry about like sticking your finger in there on accident or something um, and so yeah I got this purple one for the eyeliners, of course, or any lip liners I have too. A lot of my Kylie liners um, tend to run out of, um, or like not run out, but they need to be sharpened. So I got a sharpener. Then from Amuse Cosmetics, I got this little, um, it's a liquid liner, but look how cute it is. It looks like a lipstick. And it's really nice. It's got this. It's, it feels really creamy and liquidy, which is nice that it's not all dry. And it's got a nice little brush because I love my liquid liner. Obviously, I use mine all the time. Um, and I was running out, so I got this. Then another product I was running out of was concealer. So I saw this one, and it had um, the little tester. The tester was small, but this is actually concealer foundation, which is why it's so big. Um, I like it a lot as a concealer. I probably will use it as a foundation because I already have a foundation that I like. But should I run out, I have a backup, and definitely I can use this as concealer. So I'm excited for this. And then the last two items I got were both lipsticks. So I'll show you. The first one is from Beauty Creations, which is another kind of um, more popular one of their brands that they have there. And this is a matte lipstick. It's really pretty. It reminds me of, like, the um, MAC lipstick containers. And if you touch it, it's, like, matte. It's kind of really nice. Um... And it's just this, it looks a little deeper in the in, in here, but when you swatch it, it's more of like a nude pink, almost like what I'm wearing today, actually. Um, so, yeah. And then the last lipstick, or the last item in general that I got was this um, lipstick from Amuse Cosmetics. And it's this really pretty, nudey brown color. So, I really like that. Um... And yeah, that's basically everything that I got. Um, overall, my experience was really good. Um, I'm glad that they came to my city. I would highly recommend checking it out if you want. So something I heard somebody say was that um, they enjoyed like being able to purchase products like cheaply that they maybe normally would not um, want like try just because of the price. And you know, if you like something like. Maybe I say, hey, I love a neon green liner or something. Um, you can always buy, like, another brand in the future, like maybe a more higher-end brand. So it's just fun to try things out. I definitely think it was a good experience. It was pretty packed, um, and I wasn't there, like, right at opening nor right at closing. So it was pretty packed, 
but I think if you know your way to navigate around people, if you go to crowded places a lot or something, um, you shouldn't have too much issues. And maybe it was just my city. So definitely check it out if you'd like. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way. I know I always have to clarify that because people will always think that I'm like being paid to say things and I'm not. So um, yeah, that's just my opinion. I think it was fun. Um, it was nice to kind of get out of the house and do like a little something different, um, you know. So that was it was a good experience I liked what I swatched um, there was certain things I'll be honest like certain brands certain palettes I swatched there was some very beautiful glitter palettes pressed glitter and the moment I swatched them I knew I didn't like them so that is one thing I do like like they're not trying to scam you because I was a little skeptical at first like what brands what's happening they're not trying to scam you they literally have testers so you can decide what you like and what you don't like so I really did enjoy that aspect of it like you know not it's not something where you're like am I gonna like this like genuinely you can try it you, you can test it out and see what you like I also like that because like I said I got a concealer foundation and uh, I needed to shade match so they have testers for that it's not something where it's like a guessing game so you kind of got like the drugstore prices but you get to test things out um, you know before purchasing so I did like all of that um, I was a little disappointed that this palette was a little broken so um, my tip would be I guess if they let you I don't even know if this is an option but maybe when you're paying tell them hey do you mind opening it up I just want to make sure it looks good I'm sure they wouldn't have a problem um, that's my only tip because since there are so many people and you know people grab something put it back drop it or something you never know you want to make sure your product is good fortunately my palette was not that messed up and it was the only item I purchased that was like a little broken so um yeah definitely good experience like that you could test things great prices um you know be weary not weary but there were some items that were a little pricier like $20 palettes these were eight and they were just as high quality as the $20 ones uh, so it's up to you like what you want to spend just um, know that there's like a range of prices um, not nothing super expensive but there is like a little bit of a range like you can find six dollar palettes and you can find twenty dollar palettes so just be aware of that I guess um, but yeah, like I said, in general, it was a good experience. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below your favorite makeup item. So lipstick, concealer, foundation, mascara, whatever you like. Um, comment that down below. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.